let's say you have 25 to 30 students in a classroom. Some students who are maybe a couple of grade levels behind, some students who are above. And as a teacher, you're responsible for moving all of those students at the end of the year. Even the best teachers struggle to do that. Well, you know, probably like any parent, we want our kid to, to do well. And that was always the biggest biggest concern of, of, of going to any school, um, to make sure that he was completely challenged. My favorite subject by far is probably math. I like algebra a lot. I like working with variables because you kind of don't know, and it's kind of fun to um, use the inverse operations. Well, last year, it seems like we'd be stuck on fractions for like forever. I'd do the work, and I'd just be sitting there for the rest of class, like, OK, is there anything else I could do? Dell is a seventh grader here at McClintock, one of the top performing students in the school. He has appreciated the challenge of, of Teach to One. So Teach to One is just what it says. It teaches that student and allows that student to move at his or her pace. The benefits of the Teach to One modalities um, are phenomenal. Students get to work in groups. There are times where they are individualizing their learning by on the computer and doing a virtual. And there are also times where they're in front of a teacher getting a lot of instruction. In Teach to One, you're, all, you're always doing something. There is no set curriculum. You can get, like, keep moving up. Once you know something, you just go on to the next concept. Figure that one out. You talk to other parents at the baseball field, you talk to other parents at the uh, basketball courts, and you find out what their kids are learning at different schools. We see what Dell's learning here at Teach to One and how rapidly he's moving, and we know that we have a really good thing going on here. You have to experience it, and when you experience it, the results speak for themselves. Teach to One is the revolution. Personalized learning is the way we need to go in public education. Uh, we can't continue to go with the traditional model because we will fall farther and farther and farther behind. We've got to be the trailblazers for other teachers so that they'll be more willing to take these risks and, and personalized learning for their students. He's doing two to three grade levels above what a typical student in seventh grade would be doing. And I'm not holding him back. I'm pushing him forward. And he can do nothing but go forward.